I'd been tasked by Beth Victor to take a struggling Saturday football side and turn their fortunes around, all in the space of a few weeks. Absolutely mixed bag of standards. Is it? Good laugh, yeah. But we're in the All Boys League Div 3. Div 3? 3. All oh, 3. <laughs> I've seen the challenge that lies ahead, so recruited the best of the best. That's not offside. This is training SOS. For me, a strong team spirit is the key to a squad's performance on the pitch. So I've arranged a bonding session with a difference for the lads. A trip to Melwood to see how the pros do it, and another chance to see their new mate, Jürgen Klopp. And what's the game? Good. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you go downhill first half? Yeah. Yeah. Told you. Yeah. It's been brilliant. It brought us a bit closer together. Like, <laughs> a bit more personalities coming out on the show. So, so yeah, it's been really good. <laughs> you are a beast. Hey? <laughs> 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 You're definitely compared me to you at training the other day. I don't know yeah. it's just because I'm all the oldest in the team. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> <okay. laughs> That's outrageous. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's not the right size, but I don't think. Yeah, you, yeah I don't think you care really. No, I think it's going to help you. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thanks like very much. This is inspiring, obviously, watching these play. It's just like, you know, just like us messing about. They're all, they're all mates as well. Jürgen's brilliant. He's like our best mate. You know, he's, I feel like we've known him for years. You're itching to go home to kick Just it itching out, to kick a ball now, yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay boys, we'll start with the formation obviously, 4-2-3-1. I think we're playing a really good team today, so what we need basically is 100% commitment from the off. Kaney, Joe, stretch the play. Give Ryan an outball, give Sean, Jake an outball. And even if you don't obviously get on the end of it, it still moves us up the pitch. We know it's good oppo. Try and play some good football. And if we keep our shape, keep our discipline, hopefully we should get a result. Well done, squid! Oh, shit. Come on, boys, you didn't deserve that. Keep going. Come on, go, go on, Joe. Oh, oh, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on. Go. Oh, yes, yeah. 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 That half then, we could have scored three or four. They've scored a 40 yard worldie. It's a good half, we'll have more chances. Chambo, you're that outlet, yeah. You're faster than all of their defence. Drive a goal. Go on, John. He's in here. This could be it. Yes! Yeah! 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 Into the half for the next round, maybe. But the scouting report still left a lot to be desired, especially in front of goal. With that in mind, I turned to a man who notched up 476 career goals. Aldo. Hello, Jace. I know you know I've been helping this team out. They are all over the shop when it comes to scoring goals. They're, they're creating chances, but they just can't finish. I need you to come down and do a bit of coaching, put on a bit of a masterclass. Can you do that for me this week? Yeah, no problem, any time. Just give us a shout what the time is and uh, where there is no couple of It's great to be back in your company since last time. We felt that you've created chances, but just lack that little bit of clinical finishing in front of goal, which can make all the difference between winning or losing. With finishing in mind, I thought I'd bring along a prolific goal scorer, and I'm sure you'll agree, a Liverpool legend. We brought John Aldridge down to give a masterclass. Yeah, yeah. You wear boots like that. They look like they're too big for his feet, don't they? Got teeth like Alan Kennedy, the studs. <laughs> That's what we're going to do, it's going to be out in front of us. We're just going to twist and stop with a standing foot inside. Twist, stop with a standing foot. the academy. Can anyone do it? Oh, you hey, done well there, the first one. Stop it with you. I don't know what that was. It's a bit weird what he asked. So, Joe, the um, only result of the weekend was good. Yeah. But you, you just seem to think that you can get more from it. Where do you think you're going wrong yourself? I think it's the finishing. Every time it's the one-on-one. -on -one. I just seem to hit the keeper. The main thing is when you do get the opportunity, when it's you and the goalkeeper, either compose yourself. Yeah. What I tend to say to the players is, it's it early. You only get a, quite a few where it's like 60, 40, and all he's going to do is spread himself. It's just a dink over his body, and it's all 100%. Yeah. OK. That's it, that's it. There you go. Oh, hey. Great touch. It's a goal, no. Joe, Joe, come here, sir. Come here, come here. Just one sec. One sec. I don't know what the lad's in the name in the middle there. You get, he's cramping up over it. Tell him to take him away and leave the space for yourself. There you go. There you go. Well played, Jace. 
Oh, well done, lad. There you go, Lily. A little bit of expertise, tells him what to do, where to move. A la goal. Who are we playing Saturday? Oh, yeah. uh, in the same league? Yeah. They both, yeah? No. Below you? Yeah. So we're favourites? OK, I'm going to come along and um, hopefully we'll get that result that we want. But yeah, good luck and um, I'll see you all down here. Nice Cheers, lads. Well, we go out, we start at a high intensity, we chase in packs of two and three, we win the ball back and let's get on the score sheet early. Yeah? Hey, come on, boys. Come on, let's get on the game now. Checkers in the middle of the park there. Oh, we go, good header. Go on, Jay Boat. Relax, relax. Good boy. Yes, well done. These are the type of games where we need to keep the focus, yeah, but we also need to get on the score sheet. Let's get that goal difference up. Decent team talk at our time from the captain. Made a good point about goal difference. It's an opportunity to get five or six here today. Well done, Jay Boat. Is that three? Oh, Shane oh, <laughs> There's his goal. I think it's paid off, hasn't it? Yeah, I was shooting session the other night. Five goals. Joe, keep on his shoulder all the time. Good ball. Good ball. Hello, Joe. There you go. You'll get a goal out of him. Time, Ollie, time. Ball, Ollie. That's not offside. Oh, Did you get that? Who was it? Take him off. Take him off. Comfortable victory. Comfortable. Hey, Greg, I see your bubble. Don't give me excuses. <laughs> it's been quite a turnaround in fortunes for the lads. Five games later, and there's been quite a significant change in the league standings. Wavertree sit third on 19 points just two points off top spot. Their goal difference is a healthy plus 14 and promotion now seems a realistic target. And I thought this management lark was hard. Boys, great result today. Really good performance. Glad to see that all those finishing paid, <laughs> paid dividends. You need to come to the next one. You've got to be there to miss them. You've got to be there to miss them. It's just the worst missing um, Saturday League football I think I've ever seen. No doubt you've got enough quality, desire, determination and honesty to go and win the league. Well done, boys. Well done. Six goals, three points and an all-round dazzling display. It doesn't get much better than that. And in keeping with the club tradition, there's only one more thing to do. The weekly trip to the Boozer for a pint and a bit of grub. We're in the Willow Bank, post-game, our local pub. And we have some food and we do our man of the match vote. Keith Ledbetter. Come on, lad. This is what it's all about. Win, lose or draw. In the pub, with the boys. Join a few beers. There's no denying that a long journey to the first division lies ahead for these lads. But their unwavering dedication and brilliant team spirit, everything is in place to take them to the next step. Promotion is definitely on the cards this season. And I, for one, really do hope they get back to where they belong. But one thing I'll never get over is Greg's miss. Yeah, angry face, come on, angry face. <laughs>